Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to show you how to use your Wacom One pin display with Affinity Designer. Affinity Designer is a powerful vector-based software that you can use to design your logo, your branding, UI, and icon. When you first launch the software, you will see a welcome screen with samples, tutorials, and a new document icon. So let's click on new document. You will see the different presets on the top, or if you want to enter your own metric for your customized document, you can use that. We will click on horizontal orientation because that's what we will use today. And let's just hit create. Affinity Designer follows the traditional design software layout of toolbar on the left, context menu alone on the top, utilities and adjustment on the right. In a vector design workflow, the most important tool is probably the pen tool. So let's select that on your toolbar or use P on your keyboard. Rather than the freehand drawing tool, the pen tool is used to create straight line, bezier curves, and shapes with lossless quality. Tap your pen anywhere on your canvas to lay down a note, and then tap it anywhere else to create a straight line. If you tap and drag, you can create a bezier curve. If you tap again, it's going to use the same curve with the last one you lay down. With a combination of tapping and dragging and tapping and dragging, you can very quickly and easily lay down a shape. If you want to fill color inside the shape, you can go to the swatch that is next to the fill tool. Go to the color tab and simply select any color that you will want. A blue cloud will make sense, I think. And if you want to change the color of the stroke, you can use the swatch that is next to the stroke. But that isn't very obvious, is it? So we're going to click on this long bar that is to the right of the stroke. Clicking on it will give you a lot of menu options that can control the look of your stroke. Simply look for width and click and drag to expand the width of your stroke. Now you can go back to decide the color. To further adjust your shape, you can use the No tool or A on your keyboard shortcut. You can click on any of the nodes that you would like to adjust and simply drag it around or even drag the bar on the Bezier curve to expand your curve or minimize it. What's even cooler is that you can convert the type of node that this is by going to the top bar, convert. Let's say we want a sharper angle on your cloud for some reason. You can just click on that and then you can change it back to convert to smooth if you don't like the look of that and just drag the Bezier curve again to make it round. If you simply want to draw something freely, you can use the Vector Brush tool or B on your keyboard shortcut. From here, you can simply lay down any lines. If you want to increase the width of your lines, you can also just select the drop down menu on the top where it says width, making it a little bit thicker and draw again. Now you may want to take advantage of Wacom One's pen pressure. So we will go to controller. In the drop down menu, we will choose pressure. And let's see what it can do. That's quite nice. You can also change this setting by going to more and control the size variance that you can see in the preview from minimal to maximum. On the left side, you will see a panel called Assets. Assets are preset icons or logos 
that have already been designed and saved. You can see in the layer menu that this is a grouped coffee icon that contains the coffee cup and also the eclipse that is the background. What's even cooler is that you can save yours as well. So if I have my fancy cloud selected, I can simply click and drag and drop them into the panel. And that will automatically create my little fancy cloud in the preset. And the next time that I use this and then I drag them into the scene, it's going to create it at the exact same size. And that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful to get you started using Affinity Designer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.